let me say this now. Um, can you do anything possible just to make sure that your family stays? I think every wise woman should do everything possible to make sure that their, 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 their family um, stays or works. Just like every man should do also. Uh, welcome to Power House Believers Network and this is episode 4 of Family Matters. Um, ensuring that no man takes your husband away from you. What do these strange women do that, you know, allow them to take other people's husbands? And what can the wives do to prevent such a thing from happening? And that's why I've been on this series. And I encourage you to, um, it could just be the problem, the, the issue around your family right now. You may even just be about to lose your husband, you know, for what you don't understand yet. But I think if you watch through this, you know, episode one, you know, to four, or um, you will be able to get, you know, to know why your husband is beginning to behave strangely of recent. I would like us to go back again to Proverbs chapter seven and look at what are those things that the the the, the harlot or the strange woman uh, use to be able to get men. If you look at verse, um, you I encourage you to read from verse one. But for this, for the purpose of this very short video, I like us to just go to. Um, let's take it from five as usual. That they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger. Which flattered with her lips, for at the window of my house I looked through my casement, and behold, among the simple ones I descend among the young youths a young man void of understanding, passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with an attire of an harlot. And subtle of heart. So what we're going to talk about today is the subtlety of the heart. It's a weapon that strange women use. What is this those subtlety or subtleness? And to whom was that ascribed to? In Genesis chapter 3. Let me read for you. In Genesis chapter 3. From verse 1, the Bible says, Now the serpent, referring to the devil, was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, had God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. So, the devil used the weapon of subtleness to get into the hearts of men. So women that have this, you know, craft, this skill of subtlety, they use it to gain entrance into men's hearts. The Bible describing this strange woman, this harlot, as someone who has subtleness of heart. If you remember the case of Samson, you remember that even though Samson want, uh, uh, didn't want to tell Delilah the secret of his power, but this woman kept using words and kept pestering him and kept using words until Samson gave her the secret of his strength. It is that subtleness that we also need as wives to keep our husbands. Don't nag. Don't nag. If Delilah had nagged and stayed nagging, Samson wouldn't have revealed the secret of his strength to her. So, what, how does this come? Now, the, the, this, the, this strange woman, they use persuasive words. Persuasive words. 
They don't use hard word, harsh word. You see, if you go to some families, some homes, even the way if, if, if by the time you hear the wife addressing the man, you will wonder if that is the husband or someone else. This skill of you know subtlety, they don't have it. They don't they have it, but they choose not to use it because of pride. And because of this pride, you are going to lose your husband to a strange woman who is ready to be persuasive. If your husband said no to a thing ten times, persuade him. Don't use hard words. You don't use hard words to get men. If you use hard words on a man, he will come so hard on you. Or use the power that God has given you. That subtleness can get to any man's heart. So you should be able to learn, you know, how to master this, you know, skill or subtleness. Do you know that your husband can be angry, so angry? And the next word that comes from your mouth will make him take off every anger immediately. That's subtleness. Ability to select words in different seasons. That's subtleness. There are some women, as the husband comes back and they are hungry, that's when they bring the issue of school fees. That's not so true. That would discourage that man. That would discourage that man. So you must use that skill. The Bible says that the, that the serpent is of more subtle than all the animals. No wonder he was able to get the woman to open up. So softness is a skill to get your husband to open up. At times, a man may be troubled, maybe from work, and he needed to just talk to somebody. It is the key. He might just say, I how is work today? He might just say, fine. You know, men don't like talking too much. So he might just, A to Z of the whole thing, fine. But you see, if you're a wise woman, and you know that the countenance of your husband is different from the way he left. <laughs> then if you're a wise woman, give him food to eat. Go and massage his body. He will tell you who was insulting him at work. But if you're not wise, and you're not careful, you're not sensitive, you know, God gives every woman sensitivity. I, I've talked about that. The power of the sender. And that's the truth. You can just look at your husband's facial, facial expression, and know what is wrong. Do you also know? By just ob observing changes about your husband's attitude towards you, can signal to you what is going on, or what is going on somewhere. And then you use your persuasive power to bring out the issue, and he can begin to tell you. For women, hmm, even when you are, you did not invite them to talk, they can narrate the story from the beginning to the end. And tell you the one that is that will make you drowsy to sleep off. And tell you that the one that is appealing, they will keep talking. But for men, it takes persuasiveness to be able to draw out words from their hearts. So where they are hurting, a wise woman used using the power of subtlety can draw out words from that man. So if, if a strange woman is using subtlety for your husband, or each time your husband is troubled, you know, from work, instead of coming directly home, for you to be able to pick those words, pick those issues, and try to help him calm down, it's a strange woman that is helping him to calm down. Very soon you, you, will, you will lose him to the strange woman. Because when he comes, on top of all the troubles from the work, you will mount your own trouble, mount the children's trouble. <laughs> Don't worry. You know what the man will do the next time? The man will leave work from all the troubles from his boss, from all from the work. He will go to a place, a strange woman's place, that can speak good words to his hearing at that point. And in doing so, when he is now relaxed with the strange woman, and then 
the strange woman to take advantage of the opportunity. And that man, he never come back home. And so what's important is that you must use every of the skills. The skill of subtlety is very important. is wisdom. Ability to use the right words in the right season. And that's just the truth. No matter the needs in the house, there's a right time to say, to t- tell your husband about that, those needs. Because you see, so many, many demands can make the man afraid of the future. I'm telling you the truth. So you must learn when to bring those words to him. Even if you want to talk to, to, to your husband about your family people, your father, your mother, or any other person, you must know the right time to bring such those, those issues. You want your husband to buy words for uh, the children, there's the right time. There is the right time. That is what the devil took advantage of in the wife. The devil planned that Adam was not going to be around at that material time. The devil also planned it in such a way. And first of all, God words from the, uh, the woman's mouth and then he used that word against the woman. That is subtlety. I'm not saying you should use subtlety to um, Swindle your husband or to be with your husband to, to, to do things that are not necessary, are not okay. But I'm trying to say that use that power that is in you to keep your husband from a strange woman. Because there are strange women outside there and are ready to use the power of subtlety to take your husband away from you. So you use it to your own advantage. That's just what I'm trying to say. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. If you have not subscribed and you just uh, come into our channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And then each time we come up like this, you can see um, the notification of what we're doing. Okay? And I encourage you to listen to the other three. And I know that you will keep your husband. And if you're not married, these things are very important for you to learn before you get into the system. So that you will know exactly you are well equipped before you go in. It's even better for the singles. You know exactly what you need to be able to keep your husband by the time you're married. The Lord bless you.